So as you guys can see, patterns are everywhere. They're all around us. And um, today, we're going to focus on a couple particular types of patterns called growing patterns and shrinking patterns. So the first type of pattern we're going to look at um, is a growing pattern. And in this particular case, it is an, an increasing pattern. As you can see, all three of these patterns here, so this one, this one, in this one, the numbers in those patterns are going up. Because of that, we usually refer to these types of patterns as increasing uh, growing patterns. Increasing patterns. So there's a couple different um, ways a pattern can increase. Um, in this first example here, so I'm going to circle it. In this first example, you'll notice that um, the numbers are going up but they seem to be going up by a pretty small amount each time. Um, for instance, it goes from 7 to 14, then 14 to 21, then 21 to 28. In this type of pattern, the best way to figure out what is happening is to just focus in on these first two numbers right here. How are we changing a 7 into a 14? Um, if you take either, well, a couple ways you could do it. You could take 14 and subtract 7, and you'll get a 7. Um, you could figure out that 7 plus 7 must be 14, and you could try to see if that works on the next part, and if it does, then that's probably your pattern, adding 7 every time. The other thing you could do is you could say, what can I add to 7 to give me 14? Um, that would be another way you could approach that problem. But in this particular case, we are adding 7 each time. When you see a growing pattern where the numbers are just going up by a little amount each time, one thing you can usually refer to is addition. Um, when you see that small increase each time, you're probably adding something, so that's a good first place to check. Um, the second type of pattern that we're going to look at is an increasing pattern that seems to go up really, really quickly. No, we Notice we go from 4 to 16 to 64, all the way up to 256. Our, our numbers are increasing at a really large rate. When you see something like that, um, the, the thing that should pop into your head right away is multiplication. Um, but we're just going to start out by looking at these first two numbers. Just like last time, you have a couple options. You could either say, well, what is 16 divided by 4? And you would get 4. Or you could say, what times 4 would give me 16? And in both cases, the answer to that is going to be 4. If um, the rule is times 4, it should work for every single spot. And in this point, it does. So when you notice your numbers are getting really, really big, really, really fast, it's always a good idea to think um, multiplication. And make sure that your rule is working for every step in your pattern. Um, a third type of pat um, increasing pattern that you might see is one like this. Sometimes we see increasing patterns where something changes every time, and maybe you're not adding or multiplying by the same number every time. An example here would be to get from 6 to 12, you add 6. So you might think that the rule is plus 6, but you have to make sure it works every single time. So if you look down here, to get from 12 to 19, you actually add 7. And to get from 19 to 27, you actually add 8. And to get from 27 to 36, you actually add 9. So the pattern here is adding one more number each time. So plus 6, plus 7, plus 8, plus 9. So that is... Um, a little bit different type of pattern because we're not just adding the same thing every time. So the opposite of an increasing pattern would be a decreasing pattern, or sometimes we call them a shrinking pattern, and that's going to mean that your numbers are going to go down. Um, there's a couple things that you can think of when your numbers are going down. The first example here um, is a decreasing pattern where it seems like we're going down by a fixed amount each time. We're, we're, it looks like it's going down by the same number each time because our numbers aren't getting really, really small really, really fast. So the thing we can do there is just like last time, 
we can take 105 and subtract away our 90 and say, what is happening to that 105 to make a 90? And if you do that, you will get a 15. And 15 would be what we're going down by each time. Now, it's always a good idea to make sure it works. So from 90 to 75, that is, again, going down 15. And from 75 to 60, that is also, again, going down by 15. Um, so when your numbers are staying pretty much around the same size, and it looks like you're going down by the same number each time, it's always a really good idea to try subtraction. Now, when your numbers seem to be getting really small really fast, just like in um, the increasing pattern, we said that'd be multiplication. This is the opposite. When you're getting really small really fast, we're looking at division in this case. Um, so a couple different things you can do. You could take um, 128 and divide by 64, and you'd get 2. Or you could say, wait a second, what would I have to multiply 64 by to get 128. Um, there's a couple of different things you could look at there. So in this case, it's the opposite of multiplying by two, which is going to be dividing by two. And again, it's always a good idea to make sure that it works in every spot. So when we're going down by, um, when we're going down really fast by a lot of numbers, usually division is what you're gonna be looking for. Um, just like in increasing patterns, we also don't have to go down by the same amount each time, just like this guy right here. Um, notice we go down from 100 to 90 is minus 10, then we have a minus nine, then we have a minus eight, then we have a minus seven. So it's always a good idea to check every piece because if you do that, you're gonna have a better idea of what the pattern is and don't just assume that just because the very first one here was minus 10, that that's what the pattern is. Always check your work to, to see if what you're doing makes sense everywhere. 